Welcome back to another video from Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I want to explain something called the here position in your vertical offset tab. So on the main screen right up top here, where you've got your vertical offset, if you touch and hold and go in there, in the newer versions of Earthworks, there is a here position, as you can see here. This is a very, very helpful option for those that need to match grade that's already been either graded by someone else that you know has been passed off. Uh, maybe another scenario is you graded one day and cut everything to grade, felt like everything was on grade, the surveyor passed it off for you, but when you came the next morning, it didn't. your offset, your vertical offset that you had in didn't quite match. That's where this here position might help. So let's go right here in this scenario where the grader is sitting on this road right here. I'm going to lower the blade down below grade just a little bit and, and, and imagine here that the, the blade is actually on grade for something that I've already graded the day before. Yes, you have your fill of 40 and 45 right here, but off of the red tip, whatever side you've got that on, so if we put that on the right side, we want to match that grade right there. You can touch and hold and go into this vertical offset tab. If you don't want to do the math in your head or know exactly what the vertical offset is, you're just simply trying to match what was already graded or something that was passed off, that's where this here position would come into play. So if you go ahead and touch that, it's going to automatically put in that it's a minus 46 from vertical or from finished grade on the vertical right here. Now, what you would want to do is if you go ahead and hit apply and come out, you can see on my vertical offset tab, now I can go ahead and just toggle between 0 and 46. If you want to actually save that to where if you jump around on the job site and you need to come back, you don't want to forget that, you don't have to go in and actually hit the black box. So we'll go back into the vertical offset here. You don't have to go in and create the memory there. Once you've actually created the minus 46 right there, you've hit your here position to get that, you can simply just hit save down on the bottom here. So you can go ahead and save that one. So now as we go out, we can come and see that I can go ahead and turn my autos on and go to work. So I'm going to take the grader down this road just a little ways. Um, let's say you've worked this whole section, you've graded it, you have a scenario where, okay, you need to bump over and work in the parking lot. Let's uh, take the grader over to this parking lot right here and I'll show you the same exact thing. We come in here, we've got a completely different offset in the road here, the parking lot. You set the grader exactly where you need it, but you realize, oh, you know what? It needs to, it's actually a little bit lower. I'm doing subgrade in there. So we'll go ahead and lower the grader blade down to an area that you actually touch on the ground. You're like, I want to match that. Same exact thing. Come in here to your vertical offset tab. Come in here and go ahead and hit here, and it will auto populate what that vertical offset is if you don't know what the actual number is. You can't always rely on the cut fill out on the main screen because that may not match up. This is just true what you're actually seeing on the ground. If you want to make sure that you save that one so you could bounce back and forth between the two different areas, make sure you hit save at the bottom here. So once we've done that and we hit apply, we can come out and you can see now I've got that set. I can turn on my cut or uh, my autos for this area and I can go to grading. And as I come up here, I can toggle through zero grade, my 46 on that road over there, and my 92 in the parking lot right here. So that's just one of those options that has come in with Earthworks that I think is super, super handy to match grade to know exactly what the offset is without having to dial it in, toggle it in. Um, when I used to run equipment, I had that same scenario where I would either set the blade down on the ground and do the math, or I would use my, I would just turn the autos on and start grading, and I would turn my uh, increment decrement to a hundredth, and I would just either go up or down with my increment decrement until I felt the grader start touching. This is just a quicker option to do that. Once again, it's elevation offset. It's the here position inside Earthworks at the very top right here. Uh, thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on here position.